Welcome to the WM Power User Week in Review of July 8th. This week, Microsoft announced the official GDR2 update details for Windows Phone 8. It improves the Xbox Music experience and also adds FM radio to compatible devices. It also brings data sense to more operators, improved stability for VOIP apps like Skype, better HTML5 support in Internet Explorer, and it lets you pick a camera lens that will auto-open when you press the camera button. Nokia announced the Lumia 1020, and it's about the same width and height as the 920, but it's over 1mm thinner than the 920 and over 25 grams lighter than the 920. It's got a 4.5 inch WXGA display, which unfortunately isn't 1080p, it's the same as the 920, but it's got 2GB of RAM, whereas the 920 only had 1GB. And it's got that well-rumored 41 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization. So you get lossless zoom and the incredible stabilization of the 920 in one slimmer package. Nokia also made their Here location apps available for all devices. You can get Here Drive and other location apps like Transit for free on all Windows Phone devices, including HTC. And if you want Drive Plus, which adds global navigation, you can purchase it for an extra amount, unless you have a Lumia 920 or 928 or 800 series device, those get it for free. And Halo is actually coming to Windows Phone with Halo Spartan Assault. It'll be coming to Windows 8 and Windows Phone, but unfortunately for US customers, it's going to be an exclusive on Verizon for a certain amount of time. It should be released sometime before the end of July. That's all for the WM Power User Week in Review. Oh,